hi guys welcome back to the channel it's your favorite internet to back again with another video and today guys we're going to be talking about something very spicy if you've been wondering or thinking about other ways you can make money from sewing without actually sewing this video is for you i made something like this maybe some four or three years ago but guys as evolution is taking place if you don't know evolution is still taking place as fashion is involving as tailoring and dressmaking is involving there are more ways people are making money from fashion designing and tailoring and i'm here to let you know in case you want to explore any of these ideas any of these opportunities to make money for yourself okay so the first way a lot of people are making money from tailoring is ai illustration and ai designing i'm sure a lot of you have seen this on facebook on instagram you guys i have more than 1000 pictures of ai generated images and trust me a lot of fashion homes are looking for people that can generate unique designs with ai then you're just stopping at okay illustrating with biro and pencil and your sketchbook no they actually want to see it in real life like they want to see it like in picture form not just in biro and because sometimes you can sketch something on your notepad or your sketching book and whenever and by the time you are done maybe creating it maybe with the color schemes and everything it doesn't really look nice but ai designing and ai, AI <clears throat> i'll bite my tongue and ai illustration has taken designing to another level so a lot of people are very good with interpreting their prompts okay because you can just put in v-neck pencil gown bustier it's going to bring out most basic design for you but some people are very good with putting details intricate details and by the time the design comes out in ai it looks so beautiful a lot of fashion homes are looking for creative ai illustrators and designers so if you are thinking of other ways to make money from tailoring from dressmaking from fashion designing i think you need to start first of all go and register go and create an account with uh what's the name of this thing now microsoft create an account with microsoft and start you know turning out your creative design start putting in your prompts and when you have a lot of work in your catalog you can reach out to a fashion home you can even start your own illustration business okay so that is one way a lot of people are making money from fashion designing right now another way people are making money from fashion designing right now i mentioned this in my previous video but now it is even more necessary now because of how bespoke and couture is growing in the african market nigeria especially you have to draft specific patterns and these are these are not just basic patterns anymore people are nepa has happened <laughs> okay let's see. people don't just go for basic pattern drafting anymore a lot of people a lot of fashion homes are into custom production they want this design i produce for this person to be different from this design this design this design so they are actually looking for pattern drafters because it's not everybody that can manipulate a design it's not everybody that can manipulate a pattern so you actually need to start taking up on very very difficult pattern drafting you have to be able to like you have to start taking up on let me get this right you have to start taking pattern drafting very serious okay you've learned the basic you can draft advanced you need to start drafting really really complicated that's the word i'm looking for you need to start drafting really really complicated designs right so when you have a catalog of complicated designs that you've been able to draft the pattern and people have been able to sew it even you yourself you've been able to sew the complicated pattern design okay you've been able to interpret it into a very beautiful outfit and it came out really well if you have a catalog of all your works you can put that out to a fashion home and you know um get employed by them or get contracted by them or you can even start training people okay so this is another way people are making money from dressmaking right now without actually sewing they are pattern drafters a lot of fashion homes a lot of ready to wear homes they are looking for pattern drafters especially when it's a large scale production even you can do large scale production you can also um draft for maybe a specific person some people that are outside africa let me just give you guys a tea some people outside africa do not know how to create their own patterns okay that's why you see that the pattern market in the western world it sells a lot okay so if you can um create patterns you can draft patterns complicated simple 
basic create unique designs you can even put out your own pattern designs for sale this is another way people are making money for pattern drafting okay i'm sure you guys have seen this particular one everywhere on the internet even me it has me on chokehold and you guys know that right now when it comes to couture and designing in nigeria we are all going crazy with bidding everybody is bidding even if it's like right now in nigeria what is raining is they are creating blank slates blank slate is just like your your fabric just in one color or maybe two color at most okay and we use beads to create an entire design on the fabric me and you know that as a tailor or as a fashion designer who is constantly putting out you know dishing out designs sewing cutting we don't have that time to be bidding so a lot of people when they are done sewing they give their clothes out to bidders to bid so if you are into dressmaking and bidding is something you like because i realize that there are people that love bidding me oh adult you i'm not part of those people i can't i can't deal so there are a bunch of people that don't have time to bid and they of course seek the service of bidders why there are some fashion homes that need about 10 or 20 bidders to work on a particular outfit okay so you can even start your own bidding business by like employing people teaching them your bidding style and maybe reaching out to fashion homes that okay if you guys need 20 bidders i can supply you and we can get the job done so you can bid an outfit by yourself you can train a bunch of people there's a girl on instagram she trains people she also bids for people okay so bidding is another way people make money from dressmaking from fashion designing right now without sewing there's this girl i follow on on instagram i think she's in ghana miss i think mrs bid or bid mistress something like that she's very very good I, when I see her designs, I'm like, oh, more any amount you ask me to pay, I will pay. She's very good with creating designs. She's very, like, she's even very fast. There was a day she posted a work and she was like, it will be done in three days. And I was surprised how much work she could, I think she got done in three days. So people are looking for bidders. So if you know how to bid, get in there and, you know, put your work out. Begin to bid your own outfits bid for client bids for your neighbor just get like a catalog of things you've worked on so that by the time you reach out to a client or a client reach out, reaches out to you you can show them your work and they can trust you and when i mean catalog you guys know that your instagram page or your facebook page is like your catalog already uh -huh. so bidding is another way people are making money from dressmaking without actually sewing okay another way people are making money from dressmaking and this one i recently found out about this one what i thought before was if, if you need maybe a specific design maybe you reach out to the company or maybe you just go to the market and you know do whatever you want okay but right now people are custom fabric designers this one is not even bidding like they literally fly to the country maybe to the country in maybe china or turkey like they create 3d templates they literally produce a fabric from scratch this one is not bidding like the whole where the thread will be where the particular stone will be where the rose will be people are custom fabric designers right now okay so whether it's your george mostly it happens with georges like this george um fabric that the Igbo ladies use for their traditional wedding or just lace fabric a lot of people are custom fabric designers right now and this is another way people are making a lot of money plenty money <laughs> i'm being dramatic but this is another way people are making money from dressmaking and some people don't just stop with designing custom made judges or lace fabric some people even do custom made ashoki right let me just give you guys a tea my brother is getting married and we want to make a custom made ashoki and trust me it's not cheap because if i wanted to get one in the market maybe i can get for 15k 20k but the price for custom made ladies and gentlemen is not cheap so people are making money from designing custom made ashoki custom made um george fabric custom made lace fabric custom designed velvet fabric people are designing it that's why when some people wear a particular design if you like walk Around the whole Lagos market on each other, you will never find that fabric anywhere. This is because it's a custom designed fabric. So another way people are making money right now from dressmaking is by creating a fabric, okay? Custom design of fabric. Okay, so have that at the back of your mind. If it's something you want to try out, get it going at the moment. The next one I want to talk about here, I think I've mentioned it in my previous video that I did a couple of years ago. I think I'll just link that video in the comment section because a lot of in the comment section or description box 
okay because a lot of things i mentioned then i'm not mentioning them now and it's still like a bunch of things but i don't want to like keep repeating myself okay so another way people are making money ladies and gentlemen let me even tell you if i i it's not if i have the money i want to start doing it one or two i want to start doing one or two you understand another way people are making money right now is by selling sewing supplies sewing materials you guys hmm, people are making money from selling sewing materials if you look at their inventory and how much they sell in a day you will be surprised you will be surprised that is one way people make money like people people are cashing out on a low like low key you don't know they are millionaires making money from selling lining selling threads selling applique selling gum selling panels selling beads selling corset mesh boning brack up all these things um scuba fabrics skin tone mesh people are cashing out ladies and gentlemen i don't know why this is making me excited people are cashing out from selling these things and if it's something you want to look into you should definitely try it out just i think you need a a I, need, I think you need quite a capital to start okay i think you need quite a capital to start and there's this guy i always buy sewing supply from he doesn't even buy from nigeria he buys from china like whenever i tell him oh i want this i want this he opens up their app and shows me oh show me the thing you want here and i will point and say okay he's going to order it from china i should come back in the next one month so ladies and gentlemen people are making money from selling sewing materials sewing accessories so if it's something you want to do you might need to consider it because people are making money from that you see all of us must not put our head into uh, hammering and cutting let me adjust my wig mm -hmm. let's continue all of you all, all of us must not make money from hammering and cutting and designing there are people that are cashing out from creating designs there are people that are cashing out from bidding there are people that are cashing out from sewing, selling sewing accessories so this is another way people are making money okay so another way people are making money from tailoring from dressmaking without actually mm -hmm, i want to bite my tongue without actually sewing is selling ankara fabric okay selling ankara fabric selling bridal fabric just selling fabrics in general okay because whether you want to do ready to wear there are some people there's this lady i think i've bought fabric from her maybe two or three times she's on instagram she sells strictly ankara prints and why i like to buy from her is her ankara print designs are always beautiful they're always different so sometimes i don't even go through the hassle of going to the market to rack my brain i just go to her page pick a couple of ones that i love and i send them to her and she and i send them send her a message and she sends me the the fabric okay so people are making money from selling fabric beautiful ankara fabric some people sell strictly bridal fabric some people sell strictly Dutch, duchess satin some people sell strictly mikado silk like any color of mikado silk you want in this life they have it so a lot of people are niching down they are niching down when it comes to dressmaking like okay this is what i want to sell and whenever anybody in the world wants whatever color they want i can get it to them even if i don't have it available in my shop right now so this is another way people are making money from tailoring from dressmaking from sewing without actually sewing okay now another way people are making money from dressmaking this one they are sewing sha but not commercially is by having a fashion academy some people don't want to sew for customers some people don't want to deal with customers what they want to do is train people how to sew and i'm going to tell you ladies and gentlemen there's a lot of money there's a lot of money me now for na for for example i myself i just started doing my online classes and my online classes are heavily discounted okay they're heavily discounted and i know the little while i've started doing my online classes i know how much i've made from online classes okay talk more of people that are now having like a physical class they're going to charge way more okay so another way people are making money from dressmaking without actually sewing is teaching people how to sew okay but now there's there's a birth to this if you're going to be teaching people how to sew you have to get your facts right you have to know what you're doing don't go and say you're teaching people how to sew and you don't know a b c d mm -mm -mm. you have to have experience you have to know what you're doing you have to be able to combat 
um, advanced styles, basic styles. You have to just know a lot, okay? So don't say because I just told you people are making money from teaching people how to sew. You don't have to sew corset. You can't be teaching people student nonsense. You're not going to be dragging me in comment section. I will not take it. I'm not going to take it. Uh -huh. So another way people are making money is having a fashion academy or teaching people how to sew in whatever level. You know, some people don't even do bespoke. Some people do strictly ready to wear. Some people do strictly boo-boos and they haven't teaching people how to make money from sewing only boo-boos. Okay, so there are a lot of ideas right now on how to make in, is it in or off? Choose one. On how to make money from dressmaking, from fashion designing, you know, without actually sewing. So if you love any of the ideas I mentioned, maybe try it out. Let me know how it's going. If you have other ideas, let me know in the comment section. And you guys, I have two courses presently in my online class i have the basic beginner class okay the foundational basic beginner if class. you want to learn how to sew from the comfort of your home you want to sign up for my beginner class where i teach you the basics of sewing if you take this class you can advance like you can start taking up on advanced ties gradually okay i'm going to leave like the reviews i had from that class on the screen right now and i have the basic to pro pattern drafting class okay this is another class you don't have to miss if you want to kickstart your pattern drafting journey you want to make sure you sign up for this class so i have the whatsapp number for my online classes on the screen chat me up and then we'll get talking to register to sign up and if you have other questions if you enjoyed this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you're watching from youtube make sure you subscribe if you're watching from facebook make sure you like make sure you share make sure you follow and i will see you in my next video bye guys Bye. Something very spicy, something very interesting. If you want to know other mm -hmm. okay, nice, nice try. Number one. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Number one. Number one, number one, number one. It's not entering well. Okay. Good like this one. Okay. Do you remember the last thing I said?